Now, I always find it very strange that people say to me, oh, I don't like offal, I don't eat livers and things like this. And then they sit there and eat chicken liver pate. It's a bit like people who don't like anchovies and have, bur uh, not burgers, Ian, pizzas with anchovies. I'm going off on a tangent here now. Anyway, livers. I love livers. I really do. Now, I'm using chicken livers today, but you could use duck livers. They're a bit harder to get, but they're really lovely. And the main thing is I've got a couple of recipes. The first is a salad nouvelle, it's called. And I first had it in a restaurant in Lyon, which is a famous food city in, um, in France. I think it's the most famous after. Paris or maybe even more so. It's where Paul Bacusa's restaurant is apart from many other Michelin starred restaurants. Anyway the point of the story because I am digressing <laughs> is that I had this salad in a place called Leon de Leon and he did the salad nouvelle in different variations and some of them had all these very strange parts of the animal in them and one of them just had this spinach and some bacon and some croutons and some livers, and I loved that one, you know, with a nice dressing. I like the other one too, but it, it, I didn't ask too closely about all the bits and pieces in it. The other dishes, I worked for a brief period in London at a place called Lacey's, which was a very famous restaurant, and Margaret Costa, who was Bill Lacey's wife, he was the chef, was also the Times cook, and she was mad on offal. And she did a, a lovely cookbook called The Four Seasons Cookbook, and in it she had a section called Awful Offal, which is, I think, a beautiful name for it. Anyway, the main thing about it is the other recipe with the Dubonnet and orange is hers. But first of all, we get this pan very, very hot, and we put our livers in pretty much one at a time. I know this sounds stupid, but I want them nice and crispy on the outside and sort of creamy on the end. Just some nice sea salt and then we turn it over. I'm not completely cooking it at this stage because they are going to cook a bit further later on down the track. The nice crispy outside just adds an extra bit of flavour. So that's why I cook them pretty fiercely. I mean the normal thing with livers is you just throw the whole blasted things into the pan and saute them and throw something in with it. Well, I'm not doing that, am I? Quite a few there, because I am doing two dishes. So the next thing we're doing with these, we're going to start off Mrs. Costa's with Dubonnet and orange. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a good dollop of butter. I was watching James Martin, who's a chef I do enjoy on television. He's good fun. He drinks almost as, almost as much as his dear mate Floyd. Not as much, but almost as much. I loved Floyd, he was my favourite TV chef, he was, he was funny. And James Martin's pretty funny too. Now into that I then add one shallot, which I've finely chopped, a nice red one. If you can't find a shallot just use a little bit of red onion. And to that we're also going to add good plump clover garlic. And we're just going to saute this gently. And to that I then add some Dubonnet. Now Dubonnet is a French aperitif. I used to drink it in my Francophile days with a bit of lemon and lots of ice. These days I'd find it a bit sweet, I must admit. But in those days, as I said, I was, I was so busy trying to be French that I did all those kind of things. And to that we then add some fresh orange juice. I'll put a little bit of zest in it as well. Now we just cook that down a bit. Good. Now, some of these livers can go in here, along with some chopped parsley. And I also always add a little bit more butter. Now this won't take long, because those livers would have continued cooking. So what we will do is we'll just melt that butter and then we'll put these to the side, because we've got another dish to do, haven't we? To the pan we'll add a little bit of olive oil. Now I've got my spinach here, I've got some lovely baby spinach and I've just washed it and dried it really really well, it's very important as you can see. Nice baby leaves, I've got some croutons, now the croutons just sourdough bread which is why they're quite dark and to those I have added some olive oil, tossed them really well and baked them in the oven. And here I've got some lardons of bacon, just have a look at those. You ask your deli just to cut you a slice about two or three centimetres thick and then you just even it up and cut it into lardons like that and we'll throw those in so we're just going to saute those and then we're going to add once again a dollop of butter because this is going to be the pan juices that we are going to dress the salad with 
Did I say the reason I mentioned James Martin? I've never seen anyone use as much butter as that man did. <laughs> he cooked a, a dish for about one person the other day and I'm sure he used a pound of butter. I'm sure he did. Right, into that goes the livers because there's no sauce with this. So because of that, those livers will have to cook a bit more. Right, we've got our croutons there. We've got our parsley there, sherry vinegar. And I'll also need maybe a little bit more olive oil, but that's looking good, that. We'll put this back on for two seconds. A little bit of sherry, all good red wine vinegar, but please, top quality. A little bit more olive oil. And we will grab our bowl. We will toss that. I think Leon de Leon are very proud of this salad. Actually, I wonder whether there actually is a Leon de Leon, or they just made it up. Maybe his name's Fred. Doesn't sound the same, does it? Fred de Leon, no. Nah. So just nice and neatly in a good bowl. Now, I've done some green beans here. Now, I've done them on a bean slicer, and one of the reasons being, they weren't the greatest beans. They're a bit old, but if you do them on one of those little bean slicers, which you can buy at any good shop, you then just blanch them. So we'll just put Mrs. Costa's lovely livers and Dubonnet and orange on top, just a nice pile, and we'll get plenty of this sauce over the top of it. A little bit more parsley on the top. And to go with it, now because we are talking about livers and food from the Beaujolais region or Lyon, a nice bottle of brie, which is one of the better Beaujolais, would go brilliantly with that. Some brie or any of the, you know, things like, actually I, I tried to find Fleury because remember I had a restaurant called Fleury once. I tried to find that, sadly I couldn't. It was a wonderful restaurant owner called Anne de Shana many years ago in Melbourne. And I always remember she used to say about food, and she said, when you make a salad and you put it on the plate, it should look like you've just gone junk, rather than pick, 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 pick. Well, that certainly looks like it's gone junk. Anyway, guys, livers are back in vogue. Well, at least in the Hewitson household, give these recipes a shot.